Hello world, this is Diverse K Cox and welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, we're going to be going through how I record vocals in Pro Tools. But before we get into it, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with my journey as a music producer. So in my previous video, I broke down my vocal chain in Ableton. You can click it up here to see it. this corner or that corner. And we're going to be jumping into Pro Tools because Pro Tools is my main usage for recording clients and doing just voiceover work. I feel like Pro Tools has a better workflow and in recording others and is much quicker. So without further ado, let's jump into the doll. Diverse. If you are a music producer, I highly recommend you get Pro Tools. You don't have to, but if you're recording others and you have clients, I recommend Pro Tools. I'm not gonna lie. Is fire okay we're in my pro tool session and this is my template i created for recording vocals when i have singers come over or rappers come over and i just load this in and i can just go to work and i have to, i don't have to worry about loading in different plugins loading in different chains tracks i can just come in here get straight to work and waste no time so the first thing to do is to import your song you can simply just click and drag if you have everything already loaded as you can see, I have the BPM and the key. We're gonna use this one, BPM and the key. I could just simply click and drag it into my beat channel right here. That's the fastest way and that's one way you can do it. Or we could just do it the old fashioned way. You can click Shift Command I to import. Make sure you go into our correct folder, come here. This is the song I want, show options. Add, add all, copy, copy all. I like to do copy. I can have two versions. I can have the original version here and I can make a copy in its own separate folder for the actual file, the actual session. And make sure you save it in the correct folder for tutorial purposes. I'm going to just leave it here. Click open and then a new window will pop up. Audio input options. You can do new track, clip list. For this tutorial, we just do clip list. This is our file. Click and drag it. And then we'll slide into the DAW. And make sure the BPM is correct. Let's go to the BPM. Not 140, it's 97. My first track is the metronome. Let's hear it. All right, and then so I have a trim on the actual beat channel because sometimes the beats are like already mastered and mixed. So just to give your vocal some headroom, I do like negative six dB of gain but I can actually just turn this off because the track is already low, I bypassed it. There we go, got some more volume. And then to bypass any plugin on your vocal chain or any plugin on, in Pro Tools, just hold command and hit click. Let's go into the vocal chain. So I have an auto bus and it's connected to my record channel. So I'm gonna record on this track, but my vocals are being captured on this track. So. My voice is coming through the mic into my interface, going straight to this chain, going straight to this channel here. My Waze auto-tune plugin is already tuned. I pre-tuned it to the key. Ha! So I'm going to record my vocals through auto-tune and it's going to be captured on this channel. And if I don't like the recording, I can put it down to a playlist here. And this is just a EQ, I can turn it off to get the full spectrum. So, you know, my EQ7 band, you don't need it. I don't recommend you need it, but it's not being recorded. It's just filtering my voice. And this recording is already being processed through this bus here, my lead sum bus. All the effects are here, my reverb, my delay, my compression, my DS, but it's not being recorded. The only thing that's being recorded is the auto tune because I highly recommend you record auto tune instead of having like so many different auto tunes processing your vocals as you're going to mix or as you're recording because you want to have very very small latency or no latency at all when you're recording other clients. All right, let's do like a quick little mic check, no bars. <laughs> let's just see how it is. So you can either press three to record or hold command and space to record. Huh? Let me turn my uh, everything back on. Let's do a little 
little playback. Huh? Let me turn my uh, everything back on. Huh? So, and if I don't like it, I can just drag it down to the playlist or just do a hotkey and make a new playlist. Shift option down, new playlist, and then record again. Super out of key, but I mean, it is what it is. It's cool. This is fun. I'm not a singer. I don't claim to be a singer, but I have the tools that can make the singer sound good. Yeah, I'm just showing you what I use to record vocals here in Pro Tools. Very quick, very, very simple. And also, if you come in here on my track list, I have everything already set. Like, I have the intro verses, got the doubles already set, the harmonies, background vocals, effects, and all the um the buses for the for your effects. Got your reverb, delay, slap delay, everything, even the master chain. So after you finish recording you can just drag in a vocal section anywhere if it's a double you can drag it in here if it's a, any kind of harmony drag it in, in this one and it all connects to their buses so it's, everything is already organized for you i'll link everything down below this simple one i give it i give it to you for free because you know it's i've been using it for like going on three years now for you guys to kind of beginner level that's getting into pro tools i don't really know because i didn't have any kind of like help when it came to Pro Tools. I just was using YouTube videos and kind of figured everything out on my own. But this is for you guys. Catch you in the next video. Ciao.